So we have some plaster pops. I've already started fixing those. These are the two I'm going to take a look at. Underneath each one of these, there'll be a screw or a nail. Okay. But there are two things going on here. First one we'll take a look at. A lot of this can be caused by shrinkage. So usually there's a bit of movement which will force this plaster off. So first of all we'll remove this. And I should say that this that's on is cork. It's not actually plaster or a filler or correct filler. Just remove any of that cork there. Okay, so that's what I wanted to expose. Now that screw, sometimes the torque setting on the driver can be set wrong. So as the screw is tightening into the wood, it'll resist and then your driver will stop working. So we'll just try and remove a little bit of the plaster which is in the screw and so it just tightened up a little bit only a fraction but that was enough to do the job so that's okay screws tightened down now this one it's doing the same but the cause is a little bit different. So if I push on the board, the board is going back on itself. So chances are, behind here, the board hasn't been packed. So the studding could not be might not be level. So it's creating that gap at the back of the board. So we'll remove this again and we'll take a look and remember that if the screw hasn't been driven in far enough then when everything shrinks the screw will be exposed more and push this off but also if there's a gap behind then driving that screw in might not solve it because the plasterboard won't be strong enough to withstand that screw being driven in you'll literally just drive the screw straight through the board and end up with no support so yeah that's been stuck on with cork again or repaired with cork So that's loose and we have the board moving so so that's the screw out with this one tighten the screw this is ready for filling this one spot of foam to create a packer at the back let the foam cure the expanding foam will get into that gap when it's dry if this was the gap between the board 
then the pressure I apply on that scraper it's giving it a fair old bend there that will sit nicely and once you drive your screw into that board that's not going anywhere that's nice and solid damn cloth just wet that plaster there and then take in whichever filler you prefer to use just not cork fill these up remove that bit of foam and we'll put the screw back in Once that screws in, don't forget a bit of moisture and then fill it up.